Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Emily and today I'm doing 31 horror slash mystery thriller books that I am really wanting to read. Um, I'm not going to go into too much about what they are because obviously I haven't read them yet. Um, I will try to give little details about them here or there, but uh, we will see how it goes. So let's just get right into it because there are 31 of these. I also want to say I will have pictures right here so that you can see the title and the author's name because I unfortunately forgot to write down the author's name. So <laughs> anyway, so the first book I want to talk about is Pen Pal. And this one, all I know about it is that it's following this guy and you're kind of like going over some childhood memories of his and a lot of like different weird or tragic or horrible things happen in them. And apparently by the end, you're supposed to be able to piece together something and you're going to wish that, you know, you didn't know it. And so yeah it just sounds really good I've been hearing um a lot of hype about it recently so I want to check this one out number two is within these walls I think this is by Anaya Alborn maybe um this one I believe has to deal with a cult I think this is following a crime writer who uh gets the chance to interview a uh, notorious cult leader from uh, death row and he goes to where the scene of the crime was and everything but things happen and he's as he's trying to piece together the story and he's starting to wonder if he is alone there uh it sounds really good uh, i really like the cover it got a creepy vibe so this is on this list next is the haunted forest tour so this one follows this big haunted forest full of all these different horrifying creatures and uh, you know, what happens when you have one of these kind of forests? Well, you you make money off of it. You you do tours and everything. So people are usually loaded up on these uh, armored trams, I guess, and they are taken through the forest. But however, this one takes place during Halloween. And for Halloween, they're doing a special tour. They have a new uh, route that no one has been through before. And they're promising all kinds of new things and a good scare. Uh, what could go wrong, really, but I am super interested in this, so definitely looking forward to this one. Next, I've got Into the Sublime. This one follows four teenage girls who go into, like, this dangerous cave. Three of them come out, two are taken to the hospital, and one is covered in blood and ready to tell a story. And this one just really intrigues me because I am terrified of, like, caves and everything. Like, it just... After watching The Descent, which is a cave movie, I just, uh, uh no way. No thank you, I'm too claustrophobic for that stuff, so this one's definitely going to be a horror-filled trip for me. Number five is The Exorcist House. Um, I haven't heard too much about this, I kind of just kind of came across it on a whim, but essentially... This takes place in 1994, I believe, and this family moves into this house, but while at first everything is fun and happy and they love it there, things start to change when they find this hidden room in their basement and inside it is like a um, covered well with crucifixes all over it and then things kind of start to come to light about the previous owner who was an exorcist and it's just by then it's too late and all this stuff happens so I'm really interested in this one super excited the cover's creepy love it number six is Sallow Bend this one we're following like kind of almost like a town uh, where two girls go missing and the whole town kind of goes out and looks for them but what they don't know is that finding these girls is just going to be the start of their problems and there's one man who kind of knows that something bad is about to happen to the town and he's the only one that has seen it before I think or something like that and uh yeah so I believe these girls are found but when they're found there's also another girl with them and it's kind of like a mystery like surrounding this extra girl because no one knows who she is so creepy then I have The Curse Among Us. I want to say that this one's following like kids who go into the woods when they're not supposed to because there was like a serial killer uh, who I think killed people in there. But then they find this uh, grave and they unknowingly unleash like this evil upon their town. So I believe that's what that is. Number eight is The Patient by I think Jasper DeWitt. All I know about this one is that there is a patient where every time someone 
interacts with this patient, they end up like committing suicide or they end up dying or some bad things happen to the people that try to interact with this patient. But there is this new psychiatrist and he's eager and over egotistic or whatever. He is just thinking he's the best and he's new and he wants to figure out what is wrong with this patient, why people are so like superstitious about this patient. And he ends up realizing that he has to take a look at what he thought he knew and yeah so this one sounds good um I've heard some things about it and they're pretty much good so we're gonna go with that number nine just like mother the only thing I really know about this is that uh, it's been getting a lot of good buzz and it also surrounds like a cult so I think it's like following this girl and her cousin or a friend and the last time they saw each other was when they were escaping a cult and then they end up meeting back up, I think, like two decades later. And I don't know, things start happening. And the main character starts to remember some things that happened in the cult. And she's kind of forced to realize that something is happening currently that also is, like, similar to something. I don't know. I could be wrong. I just, I want to read this book. That's all I'm going to say. Number 10 is Kill Hill Carnage. This one's supposed to be like an 80s slashers or something about uh, there was a camp and then people were killed and there's like this mysterious like factory or something up on a hill and no one really knows what's going on there and I don't know and then people come back and then I don't know if there's a guy trying to figure out what's happening here or what happened and all hell breaks loose and monsters and everything so that's all I know and that's all I want to know. Number 11 is The Witch in the Well. Um, this follows two friends that kind of had a falling out and now they're both interested in the same uh, like story, superstitious, superstitious story uh, surrounding this witch that was um, drowned in a well because she was suspected of killing all these children uh, but she was acquitted, but the townspeople just drowned her anyway. And now these two women are trying to race to tell the stories before one of the other and bad things end up start happening. So this one sounds really creepy. Next, we have Halloween Fiend. And this one, obviously surrounding Halloween, I think there's a creature that comes on Halloween and all the townspeople have to give like a live offering, which I don't know what it is, but it's a live offering. And... Uh, apparently something happens on All Hallows Eve too and I, I it's very vague and I want to go into it vague because uh, it's a short book so it's like a novella so that one sounds interesting. Next I have Jackal um, and this one follows a black woman who is in town for her friend's wedding and her friend ends up going missing so when her friend goes missing the main character uh, tries to figure out what's going on and like she ends up finding this history of black females going missing and being found murdered and she's trying to figure out uh, why this has been happening and no one's kind of noticed and she also needs to find her friend before she too also it turns up dead and this one just sounds so good the cover is stunning and I'm just super excited to get to this one. Next we have Dark Harvest this one uh, something about I don't know. I'm, the picture kind of has this like pumpkin scarecrow thing. And I think uh, these boys, it's like a rite of passage or whatever. And they have to kill this creature, Sawtooth Jack or whatever they call it, uh, every Halloween. And that's all I really know. I can't even, I don't even know if that's right. But it looks really interesting. I wanted to read it around Halloween time this year. But I think I might have to save it for next year. Or maybe I'll just read it whenever I get it. So it's on this list. Next I have below. This one is a creature feature featuring Mothman. I am not going to go into any more of that because that's all I want to know. Next I have Ring Shout and this kind of has to deal with the Ku Klux Klan but they're demons and uh, people are trying to kill these demons or whatever. Uh, that's all I really know about it. Again I will let you guys know my thoughts more on these when I read them. Uh, moving on, Stolen Tongues, number 17. I hear a lot about this from Gabby from Gabby Reads. She really loves this. It's about a woman and her husband, and they go on vacation, and strange things start happening, and 
uh, this guy, his wife, starts like whispering in her sleep and or like something's whispering to them. But then he finds out that she's also whispering back and it just sounds so creepy and definitely chilling. <laughs> Next I have The Night Will Find Us. Now this one I'm not 100% sure what it is. All I know is that uh, this school trip or school like camping trip kind of goes astray when I don't know if someone goes missing or someone shows up dead or something happens and then they're trying to leave but the force won't let them and chaos ensues that's that's all I really know about this one next is the night stalkers and this one follows a store and their rival store and these employees are meant to stay overnight and stock the shelves and little do they know their enemy store <laughs> Uh, their their competition store are a bunch of Satanists and they really want to win and be like the best of the best out of the stores so their employees kind of attack the main store that we're following and slasherness ensues and it just sounds really good that's all I really know about it but I am here for it because we love a good slasher. Next I have when the night bells ring this one if I'm correct, is there's two women, I think this is like dystopian, but there's two women, they're trying to find water and they come across this mine. And so they go into it and they find this journal and it has all kinds of like information about someone who moved their family there in like the 1800s. And it starts talking about all these creepy things that happened. And then one of the women gets injured and they suddenly find themselves not alone down in these mines and they are trying to get out but it, it's obviously going to go downhill from there but it sounds so good i love anything with like caves or mines because it's so creepy next i've got 12 nights at rotter house so this is just following someone who writes i think it's like non-fiction or like journalism or whatever but instead of like doing normal vacation spots he talks about haunted houses and uh he gets in to Rotter House and he's gonna stay for 13 days uh but if you have noticed the title is 12 days at Rotter House so I'm wondering what makes them leave one day short or what happens one day short and uh this guy he takes his friend with him and things just start happening and it just sounds like a good haunted house story Next, I have the bell chime, and this one kind of has to deal with night terrors, I think. And then there's, like, this poster this woman finds of her, but the smile's weird, and all these creepy things start happening. And she's starting to, like, question, I think, her sanity a little bit, and it just sounds so good. Um, if you ever heard anyone talk about night terrors, you'll know that they see the creepiest stuff, and it's just... I couldn't even imagine. I would never want to go through that, and this just... As soon as I saw that in this, I was like, I need to try this. Next, I have You've Lost a Lot of Blood by Eric LaRocca. Um, I'm pretty sure just about everyone knows this author. People talk about it all the time. And I just want to read one of these books. And this was the one I figured would be the best because it had better reviews that I've seen anyway. So I'm not going to go into it. don't really know what it's about. That's how we're going to leave it. Next, I've got The Night Shoe. And it's about... I don't know if it's like a film class, but they go into this haunted place, but they're having like the worst luck. They lost their uh, main actress or whatever. They're out of money. Uh, they're out of time. And so they're working on their movie and bad things start happening in this place that they're filming in. And I think people start dying or there's like some kind of secret that's surrounding their location. So again, another like, 80s 90s slasher i believe next is cirque berserk and this one's been making its rounds this year and we're following i think it's like a bunch of kids and they go back to the theme park that was uh i don't know if it was like abandoned or if it's reopened but in the past there was a bunch of kids and they killed a bunch of people and then they just disappeared and it's kind of just turned into a legend, but little, little do these kids know going back to this place is that those kids aren't done and they are back because they are ready to kill again. So that one sounds great. Number 26 is Malice House. We're almost done. So Malice House, I believe this woman goes uh, to kind of take care of her father's things after he's passed away and she comes across a manuscript and it's nothing like he's written before and as she starts like reading through it she uh 
decides she wants to draw creepy pictures to go along with it and try to like sell it and the further into the story she gets she starts realizing that uh maybe her father had dementia or maybe he was really seeing these weird things happening and then I believe these bodies start appearing in the woods and so and the neighbors are all weird so she's just trying to figure out what the heck's going on so that one sounds great <laughs> Number 27 is another creature feature and that is it came with a crash and this follows a plane crash and uh, the survivors are just trying to wait for help to come but they notice like all the passengers that were deceased are starting to disappear and then they also notice that there's something in the woods watching them and they're not sure what it is but then I think people start showing up dead and they're the ones that are left are trying to figure out should they go and try and find help for themselves or should they stay there and wait and which one is the more dangerous decision. Sounds great. Love creature features. Especially Bigfoot. It's always entertaining. Number 28 is No One's Home. I again don't know a lot about this. Um, all I know is that there's a house and there's some stuff that surrounds this house and the people that move in have had tragedy of their own and they're just trying to have a uh, a new start but then things start happening and then they're forced to face their own issues and it's just one of those kinds of stories so sounded good number 29 is this thing between us this one i think made its rounds last year but it still sounds really good uh something about this husband and wife and when the wife dies the husband starts having uh weird instances that continue after his wife has died and he's forced to kind of face his grief and the things that have happened that led up to the point he's at. So cover is really trippy, but it sounds good. Number 30 is Slewfoot, and I'm sure everyone's heard about this. This is like a re revenge witch theme, and it sounds really good. Uh, I want to get the physical copy because I heard the pictures are amazing, and that I don't think the Kindle version has the pictures, or else I'd get a Kindle version. Um, but essentially, I've heard that if you like, what is it, The Witch, that you will also really enjoy this book. So I'm really excited to get to this one. I also want to get the audiobook, so we will see. And then finally, number 31 is The Thicket. And this follows a girl who, uh, her and her brother went to this haunted corn maze, kind of like an attraction. And when she hears her brother scream, she doesn't realize that they're actual, like, terrified screams. And they are the screams of him being killed. And... Uh, essentially at this corn maze someone walked in and killed people and then walked right out with bloody clothes and stuff because you wouldn't think anything people were probably dressed up and everything and it's kind of following her guilt of what happened to her brother and uh, it's being reopened again so her friends and a bunch of people are wanting to go and show up because of the notoriety of this maze while people want it shut down but she finds herself going back because she wants to know what happened and little do they know that this corn field or whatever or the people were not picked uh out of randomness but the person is coming back and yeah chaos is gonna ensue so that was all 31 books that I am really interested to get to sometime soon I wanted to do some kind of recommendation video but I haven't read that many horror books, but I have recently started to kind of get into them. I've read a couple so far this month, but I thought this would be a good way to let you guys know some horror books I'm interested in while also recommending you something that maybe you haven't heard but sounded really good. So I hope you like this video. Like it down below. If you did, comment letting me know uh, if you've read any of these books or if you're interested, like let me know down below and subscribe if you want to. I would greatly appreciate it. And until my next video, I will see you guys again soon. Bye.